This is a nude photo shoot. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a little cold for that. <laughs> I think you should lay back down there, though. I need to get you in here. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to your favorite flying site. Huh? We will have a Falcon Flying Day in the near future. Okay. N well, I was going to say none of them has been flown, but this one right here has been flown. But Larry built the two red ones down there. I think this one is too. Yeah. The control horns on that, I had to take them all off because you just push on just a wee little bit and they snapped off. Yeah. Tell you the story about that kit. And it's starting to rain on us. When when I got it down there, the bulkheads, the the the, the plywood bulkheads, there was three of every one of them. I think it's going to rain on us today. This might be the only video you get today. I have never seen that happen before. These are all Carl Goldberg Falcon planes. The big orange one is a senior falcon. The other orange one's a falcon 56. The red one's a falcon 56 and then a junior falcon. And the rain's getting harder. The junior falcon 29. <laughs> You're gonna put a 29 inch in it? Well, it's a 29 inch wingspan. Oh, okay. Oh, so it should be just a Falcon 29. That's what I would Take the think. junior off. Yeah, take the junior <laughs> off. Yeah, Falcon 29. What's the wingspan of the senior Falcon? The senior Falcon is 60... 62. That's what I was going to say, 62 inches. Was, 60 Falcon 62, inches. a Falcon 56, a Falcon 29, and a Falcon 56. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're going to have to put them away here real quick. Yeah. The rain's getting harder and harder. It is. Just, just my sister one day. You say Melvin is still alive? No. Melvin's, Melvin's gone and his son. Oh, okay. His okay. Son. <laughs> well, I bet he can. It's tracking. It's tracking to the right. Whoa! Yeah. yeah. It acts like it's tracking. He's got two pounds of lead over there in that right hand wing. Motor's laying on the ground. I guess we're heading out to the trees for a crash that I missed again. I hear something beeping over here. I think we're on our way to it. Good thing you had a beeper on it. We might not have found it. Can you hear it? Yep. You can't hear it? Yeah, I hear it. It's over this way. There it is down there. At least it's not in a tree. We don't have to cut a tree down. Nope. It's just a couple feet off the ground. But it's on the other side of a whole bunch of thick briars. I see it. A lot of briars. Boy, and you're right in the thick. Damn. I am tired of hearing it already, though. Nice you can turn your transmitter off now. Got a nice beat. Though. Yeah. Say so you found the canopy too. Yeah, it's down, back down there. I'm going to try to hand you this first. Oh, 
probably three or four or five times that. Oh yeah, you've had a lot of trouble with it. It's been like for no apparent reason. Over top of us, so it doesn't look like <laughs> <laughs> Carry it over to the car, put it down, and go back and get another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never what, got that what, much pieces. I never went on another boat. Never. Like that. Lord, yeah. The one I built that I had. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. <clears throat> this is the one I cut my wrist on. Yeah. Well, that don't how much I, one of them was like sixty nine or seventy dollars a new, and the other people about like eighty four. And I said, well, if I get two of them put together, I said, how soon can I get it? He said, well, you might have it by Monday. <laughs> Oh, that's even the one you crashed and bent all up <laughs> and still holding it's still, up. Still going good. See, it's starting yep. to split. Huh. Lower, Larry, lower! Already? Yep. You just got up there. <laughs> Didn't have enough power on that. Lower, Larry, lower! <laughs> yep. It's 
alright, won't any more than crash. You ever tell you how about you flying those ultralights <laughs> over Zanesville? Took off the airport and right up there and just want to get out too. That was my car. first one. That was my it first was one. Pouring the coals on it. The more gas he'd give it, the lower it dropped. <laughs> and oh he my. said, I got to get back. And he, he would come down and almost put it in the Muskingum River, but he yep. made it back to the airport. <laughs> but he told me, I think if I'm correct, Larry, that it was a fan belt that run from the motor to the prop. It was, it was on the, on the re, re, reduction, reduction. Yeah. reduction, and it had four belts on it. Four it, belts, they started slipping. Yep. The more and throttle we give it, the slower the thing would go. The more it, slipped, it was the yeah. very first flight. My very first flight. I had, <laughs> I'd, I'd short hopped it down, at, I was at Riverside, and I short hopped it a lot I, for a day or so earlier, just making sure I had enough to get off and could get back down on the ground not hurt myself so i finally got the courage up to take it up so i went down and <laughs> took off took off and boy she clumb right out and didn't any more than get about 30 seconds in the air and i was up i was clear past the end of the airport and it started to started to taking and losing power and yet the motor is just a screaming <sighs> so I leveled it out. I took it out of climb because I was I wasn't doing it good at all. And I I made a left hand turn, which took me I was going south out of the airport and made a left hand turn and of course that took me right over to the trees right where the river is. <laughs> and I and when I made my turn I had to come back. I I I couldn't stay above the trees even. I was just I just got over them. And I'm over the river now, and I can't get over the trees on the other side of the river. So I only had one option. I only had one option, and that was the. I, I decided I was going to fly up up the river, and if I had to, I was going to ditch right in the water. I didn't know what else to do. So I was about I was about I was down to about 20 feet off the water, and I was pretty well sure I was going to go in. Yeah. And so I, I thought, well, I'll, I'll slow the motor down. And at that, I slowed it down, and by golly, them belts grabbed a hold. And so I, I started picking up a little bit of speed again, and I was able to maintain my altitude. And just as I was going up, there's a, there's a feeder creek that comes off to the right from the, well, be from the east side of the river. And so I thought, hmm. If I got a ditch, it's going to be easier to get out of there than it's going to be out of this old big old river. So I went up there, and as I went up there, it was cool enough that it gave me some lift. And I went up there, and I kept gaining altitude, and they had a spot that they had taken, dozed off, and it was a nice big flat spot up on top of the hill. And so I thought, well, if I got to land now, I'm going to land right there. So sure enough, I... I kept I kept circling and I kept getting an altitude. I finally got getting an altitude and I got her up. And I thought, well, I I can make the airport now. So I headed up the, on up the river, made my turn on for final, and uh, as I was coming around, I made my turn on final. And as I turned on final, I pulled the throttle back. The motor died. <laughs> oh shit! Now you're landing. I'm la I'm landing for sure. So I I tried to start it again. It, it it had electric start on and everything. And I couldn't get it to fire, so I, I just aborted that, and I went into the airport, and I, I actually done pretty good. I actually bent my right landing gear when I when I touched down. I touched down harder than I wanted to, but I made it back to the airport, and put it in the trailer. And Is that the one you was building the cabin over the put the metal over? You said you used to go to your shop and all. Had it in the back of your uh, shop down there? No, uh, that one. That one was. Uh, uh, that was my. Uh, that was my second one. The first one was a. Uh, oh, I didn't open on it. 
No, it was a close cabin. It, it, it looked like a J3. Okay. It looked a little bit like a J3. I remember the one you had been shot back. We were doing some proper evidence. Yeah. That, and everything. that was, that was just flying to Kishore. Yeah, that was the, uh, let me think what the name of that was. It did all right. It was it a. Uh, it, it was a, it, it flew good. It really did fly good. Volkswagen engine or something? No, like that? that had a Kamasaki, a Kamasaki two stroke on it. Mm -hmm. uh, two cylinder, two stroke. It was a uh, snowmobile engine okay. with the fan cut off of it. The fan section was cut off the, there, mm -hmm. and uh, like a tip, but I yeah, and it it was uh, it was a pusher, mm -hmm. it was a pusher type airplane, and the, the first one was a po uh, you yeah, know or a standard pole, so uh, but I found out that after that I found out that the guy that had down there at the machine shop down in I can't remember the name of the town down in South Ohio. Uh, it'll come to me in a minute, but anyhow, when he cut the the, uh, the reduction pulley, and he he was making them there, mm -hmm. that he cut the wrong angles on the for the belts, yeah. and the belt wasn't setting in it perfect, and uh, but it had four belts on it for redundancy, which was they were the gates belts. I can't remember what numbers they were or anything, but that happens. I had a bought a. Mm.